Hey, how's it going? It's Mike from Nashville, and this is a Squire Classic Player 70s Jaguar. Jaguar, Jaguar. And, um, and uh, yeah, this is uh, came out in 2020, 2021. And I, this is the worst Jaguar. Unfortunately, I love Fender, but this is absolutely the worst experience I've had purchasing a Jaguar, a Squire. Um, as the reason being is it was horrible out of the box and like basically had to do a lot of cleaning up that most players probably, I don't know, some people that aren't comfortable or familiar with, you know, doing that would have trouble with. But uh, there's a YouTube channel of a guy, Parison, Parashin, oops, I'm not going to butcher it. I can barely say Jaguar. That he has a channel where I love his channel. He looks like Seth Rogen. This dude is really cool. And he goes really deep on this guitar and, and does a setup and he proper, he shows you how to kind of get around the issues with it. And he it seems like he enjoys it too after you kind of get it properly set up. But for what you pay, I've hit about 430 bucks for this. And geez, I'll tell you what, Epiphone 2020, I think, spoiled me because all of those were like, wow, I can't believe that's all I paid less than this. And you get all that guitar. It just it, the quality is amazing compared to this. So unfortunately, this is absolutely the worst. I don't normally have this experience with Squires, but this was the worst. So if you don't know, so out of the box, this was like barbed wire at the top here. The fret sprout was horrible. It was just horrible. It was like completely bad and um, definitely didn't stay in tune. So a few things he recommended. Of course, I know how to defile the frets. So now it's nice and smooth. Problem solved. Second thing was this bridge. Um, this is like a Mustang actually type bridge in this. Um, the, the pegs below, he recommended wrapping some electrical tape around it so it makes it a little less wobbly. It needs to wobble a little bit, obviously, with the, with the bridge, with the um, vibrato, but um, it's not as bad. So I think that helps keep it in tune, and that's a big difference. And then I also put conductive paint at the bottom of the pick guard to keep it from crackling a lot. That, that's a trick of mine that always works. Finally is the shim I had to put right here to give the neck angle better I guess a better neck angle to make it work with this bridge and, and the, the vibrato. Um, I absolutely had to put that shim in. I put it like a 0.5 shim. But look look up his channel. I, I put a link in below. He's really great. You should check out all of his videos. He's an awesome, seems like a cool dude. He looks like, like I said, Seth Rogen. I like Seth Rogen. So. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I learned from his video how to make this thing playable. And so I'll keep it, but still the worst experience I've ever had. And um, buying a, a Jaguar or buying a Squire, I should say. So the setup is basically if you flip it up, very bassy. You just have your volume and treble, and that's full full force right there. Very bassy. I'm gonna switch it down. And this is a tone uh, switch here, so it's like more trebly tone, more a little more bass. Tone. Let's turn off the bridge and just make the neck. And then here's both pickups.
Both pickups. Some surfy surfiness to it. Anyway, I like it. I think it's cool, but it's the worst I've ever purchased. It really is. It's too bad. It's too bad, but I just want to warn you of it, but also tell you that it, there's hope if it's okay. Just don't buy this thinking, you know, out of the box or not. Maybe comment. Comment below. Do you own this? Maybe it's just the limited edition shell pink that's the problem. I don't know. Maybe you've had better experiences. I know I have. A few years ago, you know, about a few years ago when I had a first bought a Squire Jaguar, Squire, 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 Jaguar or Jaguar, Jaguar, um, then I didn't have any. It was great out of the box. I don't remember having to do all this. But anyway, that's it. This is the worst one I've ever purchased, but still um, it's a keeper because of the color and I don't mind. And I was able to do my own thing. And uh, that's it. I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, please subscribe and uh, like or hate or well, don't hate. Never hate. Bad. No hate. But um, dislike, I guess you could say. That's cool. Um, comment below, though, please. I'd love to hear your opinions and um, kind of if you have any suggestions. Put it in the suggestion box. Thanks for watching, and I hope all is well with you, and take care.